Hello, St. Paul family. This is Pastor Matthew Cush. Want to wish you a very warm uh, Advent season. Since we're in the season of Advent, a season of preparation uh, to get ready for Christmas, I thought I would join you guys and help you lead you in maybe a little Advent devotion, getting ready for the coming Christ on Christmas Day. Now, there's a lot of different songs, a lot of different material out there that we could go over, but I thought I'd do something uh, very personal with all of you. There's one of my favorite Advent hymns, and I think maybe that one is very familiar to everyone. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. It's one of those songs where you can hear it on a radio, you can hear um, a person do it, and it sounds absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful song, but have you ever actually read the words and actually gone over them? There's been a tradition in the church for many centuries to do a variation of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel called O Antiphons, which is actually looking at specific verses of that hymn and reflecting upon them and meditating on them as they approach the day of Christmas. I'd like to do that with all of you this season. This is one of my favorite hymns in of all time to do it with. For the first one, then, we have to look just what it means. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. This very first verse is a prayer. It's a prayer that God would hear His people in exile, ransom captive Israel. You might wonder, what's Israel being captive from? If you look through the Bible, that's so much that, well, they have been captive in. Looking back, the slavery in Egypt, the exile into Babylon, the banishment into Syria and Assyria, and even the Roman occupation during the time of Jesus. But even more than all of that, they're captive to their sin. Captive to the same sin that consumes you and me. And this is a problem. Because we mourn in lonely exile here, separated from God. But then, how do we do this? How do we become unexiled? Well, rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. And Emmanuel means God with us. But actually, if you look throughout the entire song, Emmanuel isn't really well explained. I mean, who is Emmanuel? How shall we call him? Well, look at maybe these couple of verses. We begin this week with looking at the second verse. O come thou wisdom from on high, who orders all things mightily. Show us the path of knowledge, show, and teach us in her ways to go. Now, you might be wondering why wisdom? Why would you use that? Is it different than intelligence? Well, yes, to be wise is to be smart, but it means more than that. It means to act upon your knowledge, to act upon in a very understanding way. Now, Without, with all that going on, what is wisdom in the Bible? Wisdom in the Bible is actually a very personified thing. In fact, the Solomon, the King of Solomon, would even go out and write Proverbs, which is an entire book detailing the wonderful wisdom and how it is of God. Now, what is wisdom doing here? Well, it's showing us the paths of knowledge, the ways to go. The psalmist writes, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light. To my path. This Emmanuel who is to come is wisdom, full of understanding, full of truth, and full of guidance, guiding in our ways to go, guiding in the paths we should take to walk upon this earth. And not only the paths that we should be taking, not only showing us what to walk, but also guiding us on that path. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. As we continue on this Advent season, let us draw our hearts and our eyes nearer to God, draw near to our Emmanuel, and draw near to His first coming. I thank you all, and I pray that you have a very blessed day. I will see you soon in our services.